Jay Drone here. This is a Tarantula 1505. Looks a little bit different, don't it? Uh, we have different blades on. They're considerably smaller and they're a three-prong blade. We're going to go ahead and bind this. Turn it on. Throttle up and then throttle down. And I have it sitting on top of this tape because I don't have uh, the landing gear on. So that kind of lets it be uh, on a flat surface essentially all the way around that way it's not leaning to the right or the left and right away it's uh, it's flying nice it doesn't seem to have uh, affected it much um, seems to be flying well we're up there quite a bit it's 51 degrees with 3 mile an hour wind there's also a light uh, rain very light it's not pouring it's not heavy drops falling from the sky it's very light rain which uh, isn't affecting this any and coming down I'll have to see a little bit more before I make a conclusion but seems to have uh, less power less thrust because as I was throttling down, it got pretty close to the ground there. It is flying well with these. Uh, it's not hasn't screwed up its ability to fly. Looks really cool. I really like the way it looks. And again, you can see I'm taking it up there. It's having zero issues flying. I'm not really seeing much improvement with speed. Um, I'm not quite sure. I think we got tangled up in the trees a little bit. But we're good. That's why I don't have prop guards on most of my quads. If I did have them on, guaranteed I'd be climbing that tree to get it. And uh, climbing trees in the cold and the wind is zero fun. If you've never done it, I don't suggest you do. And if you've uh, never seen somebody do it, go to my channel. I show uh, myself climbing a very high tree. And as you've seen, uh, kind of hit the ground. That fell down considerably doing those flips. And it got tied up in these uh, long thorn bushes here. So yeah, I'm, let's see, I, I'm definitely going to draw the conclusion that this has less power. I did fly this with extremely long blades, which seemed to increase the power. And yeah, that's dropping down. It, it drops down a lot. Um, as I was saying, I flew this with extremely long blades, which seemed to increase the power and thrust and lift. This seems to be doing quite the opposite. I mean, as far as speed goes, out and in, it doesn't seem uh, to be slowing it down too too much but as far as throttling being able to throttle back up when it's come down it seems to have issues with that and as you can see we do a flip and it almost hits the ground and yaw rates definitely not as quick as uh, it is from the manufacturer or as it was with the longer blades on it And again, I don't know. Uh, I don't know much about flying. I, I don't know what affects what. I'm just learning. I'm playing with these things, trying to figure things out here. But I'm going to make an assumption here that the smaller the blades are in comparison to the quadcopter, less surface area that it's covering, and the larger the blades are especially with the small quadcopter this is like this is uh, it's covering more surface area and giving it more thrust and pull or push I should say or maybe it's pull it's pulling it upwards pushing it I don't know but yeah that yaw rates definitely not where it should be that's like a normal yaw rate and with this thing it has a crazy yaw rate so uh, it's definitely slowed it down quite a bit there you see it just drops um so I guess as I said the main thing that this is affecting is its power its ability to lift back up 
Uh, and again, I'm attributing that to the surface area that these small blades are covering, which is very small compared to the stock blades and then compared to the large blades that I had on. It flies nice though. It's not having any issues flying. Um, we do have a little bit downforce from the rain on this and it's still flying well. Again, that's the only issue that I really see. And of course that yaw rate, right, it's not spinning ridiculously out of control. Now I'd assume that these blades, they're probably close to the same weight as the manufacturer blades despite the size difference, but they also have three propeller blades on it. So you could take two of them left to right and then take that other one and chop it in half and probably almost equal what the stock propeller blades are. So I really don't think we're going to see a huge increase in time as uh, these blades probably weigh just about what the manufacturer's blades do. And again, this is all for experimental purposes. Uh, I have lots of quadcopters, this being one of my favorite ones. Decided to uh, switch the propeller blades up, see what happened. And I'm showing you what happened. Yeah, yaw rate's nowhere near as fast as it should be. But that's not a bad thing. Uh, I guess it depends what you're going for. With this, I like the speed on it. So longer propeller blades were awesome. Factory ones are awesome. Um, maybe you're going for a calm flight. You want to take this out for a calm flight and just kind of cruise around. Then maybe you want blades like this. Uh, I guess one positive to that yaw rate not being crazy fast is if you did have this high in the sky and you spun it around you probably wouldn't lose control of it like you would and like I have with uh, it spinning kinda crazily out of control. And you can see I got the battery uh, wires hanging out. I do have a 500 mAh 3.7 volt battery in this. It's one of the longer blue ones uh, that I've used in the past. Uh, it's an aftermarket one. Yeah, before I was taking your standard 500 mAh 3.7 volt, which is a boxier, wider battery than I have in this, and that would not fit in the battery compartment, so what I was doing, I was taping it to the body. And I've kind of gotten away from that, just because I've cracked this body pretty good, crashing it, and I believe that's attributed to it having more weight externally. If it was enclosed on the inside, I think it would have been alright, but having extra weight on the outside falling causing pressure points where it shouldn't I believe is what cracked uh, this but as you can see it's flying well if you do break these they're plastic bond them together with some type of really really good super glue let it sit for a day or two go over it with like pack packaging tape or something just uh, for added support yeah so all in all Maybe it's taken away from speed a little bit, power a little bit, but it hasn't hurt this flying at all. It, it flies well. Flips well, and again, the only drawback is how far that drops from a flip. And also, if you're up high and you're descending, it's not gonna say you're really high descending and then you want to pull back up it's not gonna pull back up as quickly so those two drawbacks you can weigh out the decision uh, whether to throw these on just goof around with it or say you're a beginner and you don't want this flying the extreme fast but you would like it in third response mode that way that nose tips down and it backs down and it goes left to right a little bit more responsive this would allow you to have it like that as a beginner and not have yourself lose control of it so quickly
Yeah, you're not losing control with that yaw, right? Kind of stops when it's supposed to when you spin it. Uh, longer blades in the factory blades, you go to spin it and it kind of does like a quarter turn rotate, even a half turn rotate. Then you really have to look at it to readjust your orientation. But cool factor? Yeah, this is off the charts cool factor. This looks really cool with those three blades on it. Again, this is a Tarantula 1505. I'm J-Drum. I hope you enjoyed this flight. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Uh, if you have questions, comments, I get right back to you. I work a lot, but I generally have something on me that I could check this, and I'm more than happy to answer questions and comments. Uh, look forward to you subscribing. Try to post every day. And uh, keep flying. Experiment with these things. They're toys. Treat them as toys. Uh, modify them a little bit. I'm J-Drone. Have a good day.